Hi everyone, early in the week the city witnessed its worst road accident leaving 24 people dead and 24 injured. Sheikh Mohammed is calling citizens of the UAE to send in questions to which he will address next week. Free parking spots across Media City, Internet City and Knowledge Village will now be paid parking areas. And there's a new water bus launch to take you through the Dubai Marina. This is The Roundabout with me, Sandra. First up, 24 bus passengers died and 24 people were injured in what is to believe the UAE's deadliest road accident. A truck ploughed into the back of the bus carrying 45 maintenance workers. Just before 8 a.m. on the E30, the old truck road next to Al Rauda Palace on the outskirts of Alain. The truck overturned on top of the bus and the victims at the scene died from suffocation after being buried under the lorry's 75-ton load of sand and building material. The bus passengers were employed by Al Hakim Decoration, which was carrying out maintenance work at the palace. Officials said that there was not a safe distance between the two vehicles and the truck's brakes failed. The Bangladeshi embassy said 16 of its citizens were among the dead and one Indian national was also confirmed dead. Five bodies have not yet been identified. Now, if you're a citizen of Dubai and have always had questions that you wanted to ask the ruler of the city, here's your chance. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, will be answering questions submitted to him by journalists and citizens during the governmental summit taking place on February 11th and 12th. Sheikh Mohammed will attend an open session during the first day of the summit in which he will answer questions related to his Vision 2021, key values of governmental leadership and national priorities. Citizens and journalists can submit questions to Sheikh Mohammed's official website, the last day being Feb 11th, so get cracking folks. Now for those of you who have been taking advantage of the free parking spots across Dubai Media City, Internet City and Knowledge Village, you now have an additional expense to add to your list. Starting this week, the RTA will now charge for these parking spots in order to relieve parking congestion in these areas. In a circular warning companies and colleges in the free zone areas, RTA said it started implementing its new parking system from January 15th. It will activate parking meters on all streets in phases, including any off-street parking, reserved parking, basement parking and multi-storey reserved parking in the TCOM areas. The RTA plans to complete all activation by March 15th. Students and office goers in the areas are indeed not pleased with this move, but how would this affect you? We'd love to hear from you, so do leave your comments at the bottom of the screen. On the other hand, life just got easier for those living around the marina area. There's a new water bus that's launched running every 15 minutes between the Marina Mall and the Marina Walk with a total travel time clocked at 12 minutes and the best part is that it only costs 2 dirhams per trip. The walk between the two locations usually takes between 20 to 30 minutes where pedestrians have to walk over a long and winding promenade. The water bus service runs between 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. during the week and from 12 a.m. to midnight on weekends. Has anyone tried it yet? Do post some pictures on our Facebook page, we'd love to see them. And finally, this week, Aswin Patrick sent in a gorgeous picture of a metro station. Thanks for sending this in, Aswin, and do continue to send us pictures of the city and we'll post them on our Facebook page and website. It's been clear skies these past few days, and let's hope it stays that way. Here's your weather for the week. Have a great weekend.